Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Liz, in case you didn't know, and today I'm going to be starting my story time series. Um, these are probably mostly going to be about dance, but they may have other times that, you know, are just fun. But um, today I'm going to be talking about my very first point shoe fitting. So, that's exciting. Um, and I don't have any announcements today other than, you know, I'm glad to be posting YouTube videos more often. So, there's that. Um, but yeah, here's the video. So, um, to start off, I got my point shoes when I was 12 years old. It was two days after my birthday, actually, so it was kind of like my birthday present. And, um... I went with my whole class and we went to like I think he's Russian so he was really hard to understand so every other word he said I was like what <laughs> which is so awkward when I can't understand people I'm getting better at it but um anyway we went there all together and there were maybe eight of us who got our point shoes that day and I was one of the last people online and, you know, I didn't really know what I was talking about, so, you know, my teacher was sitting right beside me, and she was like, those look good, oh, but I don't like that, and I don't like that. Um, and then we got this pair, and I was like, oh, these are comfortable, and they are like, so we're not letting you have those. <laughs> and that's basically true, but, you know, it was just funny, because, you know, I was like, what's wrong with them being comfortable? But, you know, it didn't work out, so... Um, but my very first pair was actually block, which I don't like anymore, to be honest. I actually kind of hate them now, because I could never get over my box, and that was just really hard when I was trying to get the strength to do point, but I had all the odds working against me because I just couldn't get over my box until they were dead. Um... But I got Block Sonata my first time, and I think I wore like a 6. Now I wear, in a different brand, but still, I wear like 10.5. <laughs> but it's, I'm in gainers right now, and I might be switching again, but yeah, it's, I've grown a lot, and you know, my feet have gotten stronger, so I definitely wouldn't be able to go back to Block. Um, but it was really fun because, you know, you get to experience that feeling because you don't really know what it's going to feel like. But then when you go up on point, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Then five minutes later, you're like, this is kind of uncomfortable. Then a little bit after that, ow, oh my gosh, I might die because this hurts so bad. But, you know you'll get stronger and it'll be great <laughs> but you know it's not always like that I just have sensitive skin but um anyway let's see I tried on quite a few different pairs of shoes I think we tried on like 20 different shoes and my dad was just like is she done yet um we were there for probably two hours because I was one of the last in line and it took me like half an hour at least to find a pair of shoes probably more like an hour um but i landed on the block sonata and then we went up and we bought the shoes and i was like jumping up and down and i was really hyper um then i got to get my own mesh point shoe bag and my own toe pads and i was just so excited and I was like, oh, this is so cool. And then, you know, <laughs> I went home and I looked back at the email that my teacher sent on how to sew them. So then I spent the entire day trying to sew them. And then we went to class a couple weeks after that, because I think it was during winter break that we got our point shoes. Um, but we went to class and we all thought we knew how to tie them, but we really did not. We just kind of fooled around and tied a bow and we're like, this is it. Um, it looked horrible. And then our teacher was like, no, 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 no. First you have to cut the ribbons, then you have to light the edges so that the glue melts so it doesn't fray. And then I'll tie them for you. And we did, you know, she did every single person. So, um, it was, took like 
We have an hour class. She was late and it took 45 minutes, so we did one combination at bar and then left. Um, but it was so fun and we were so excited. There, But there were girls who were like, oh, I'm gonna try a pirouette. So like everybody except me tried a pirouette. I was like, I don't wanna break my ankle. I wouldn't suggest it either because it's not a great idea when you haven't figured out how to go up and if you roll your ankle on point then you could break it. So I wouldn't suggest trying a pirouette the first day on point. Just a tip. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was really fun, and I was just like so hyper. Um, and you know, it's just a really fun experience, I will say. I think that it is definitely a blessing, and you know, I think it'd be really weird if we did ballet only on flat. It would be fun, but I really love doing point because it's such a different experience and it feels so different and you have to work your muscles differently and when you get more experienced at it it's just so fun to start doing new things all over again it's like starting ballet all over again because you get to keep trying new things and there are different steps you do on point than on flat so it's just really exciting and if you are about to go on point congratulations it's gonna be so fun you're gonna love it and even though it hurts sometimes it's still fun and if you really truly love dance, you're going to enjoy it in the long run anyway. So, And it's very important to be careful, but at the same time, just enjoy it. That's it for the video. Thank you guys for walk watching. Walking? I, I thank you for walking as well, I guess. Thank you for watching, though. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And comment down below what you would like me to do in future videos. Um... And if you want to, you know, see more videos, hit the big red subscribe button down below. And make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I've posted a video. So that's it, guys. Bye!